to this new video. I am very excited to be vlogging from Doha. I am in Qatar. I arrived yesterday and I'm gonna be here for a week. I am on a work trip and I'm just excited to show you guys around. Like, I don't know what we're gonna get up to when we have free time. We're gonna be working from tomorrow, but today is Saturday. Basically, Qatar is still like how UAE used to be. They have the work week from Sunday to Thursday and the weekend is Friday and Saturday. So yeah, yesterday I arrived like around lunchtime and it was just like, I don't know, I didn't get a good night's sleep, so I was quite tired and I was just like lazing around. But then in the evening we went out, literally in our hotel there was a club and I was like, you know what? Let's just go see what it's all about and it was like full-on rave so it was wild uh, We stayed there for a very short time though and we just were super tired So we just came back, um, me and my colleagues and we went to bed We just came from breakfast now and we we're thinking what to do with our Saturday Since it's like our last free day before the work starts And we were thinking to go to a mall because obviously it's really hot, it's August So it's not much you can do outside And yeah, we were thinking just to check out this mall that I know of, it's called Plus Vendem and it's like a really new beautiful mall so I think we're gonna head there in like 20 minutes but before that I just wanted to show you guys around a little bit here's the view very beautiful this is like downtown Doha and like look how quiet it is there's like one car there like a few cars there as you see so it's very quiet city and I was really shocked last night when we went into that club and it was just like packed with people. I was like, where where did all these people come from? Like, I didn't see all during the day, you know? It was very surprising because it just seems like a very calm city. Like, it doesn't seem like there's much happening and in comparison to Dubai, it's just way quieter here, which is good. Like, I don't mind. I like quiet. Let me show you quickly my room. So I just popped in my suitcase last night here. I actually was looking for my cream. I don't know where I put it. I uh, can't find it. But yeah, I just put all the clothes here. I'm still yet to hang it because I need to wear them for work. And nothing here. Um, yeah, sorry, messy bed. I did sleep pretty good. The bed was very comfortable, but I didn't make it afterwards. So yeah, that's why it looks a bit untidy. I put all my makeup here, passport, all this good stuff. Then the hotel staff were so nice, they brought me the whole pack of water. So I'm staying hydrated, y'all. I actually brought my own water bottle and I'm just putting it in this bottle because like that's how I roll. And I actually brought even my own coffee because like I don't know what it is about being somewhere else than home. The coffee just doesn't do it for me. Like for me, it has to be strong homemade coffee. Like the coffee machines and stuff, they just don't do it for me. But I still haven't had it because I need milk, so I have this drip thing, I don't know if you guys know what this is, probably you do, and the filters, but this is like how I drink my coffee, and I just had cappuccino uh, with breakfast, but like, it didn't do much for me, but it's fine because later in Place Vendem, there are two coffee shops that I want to check out, and I hope we can get some caffeine out there maybe a matcha or something and i should probably put on like some sunscreen because um it's probably gonna be uh pretty dangerous outside in terms of the sun and what else oh washroom let me show you a washroom this washroom like the size of it is you guys it's like it's own room so shower bathtub toilet and all this sorry i was making some pictures yesterday so I just like put my shoes because i want to get like a nice picture of these shoes i've had them for years and i've never worn them like and i was like okay if there's a place i can wear these it's probably doha so i'm saving them for some night out when we're gonna go for dinner or like something but i wanted to get a nice picture so that's why i left them here sorry it's a bit messy i also brought the set i was gifted from augustina's butter and i'm just trying it out like literally last night and stuff um, and it's quite nice like I don't know it's hard to give you know first impressions right away from like one or two uses but let's see after I use it for about a week how I feel this is a cleanser the essence and the oil um, but yeah I did forget my moisturizer like I remember I packed it in the morning and like the cleansing balm and I couldn't find it last night so I was like did I forget it at home anyway so I'm using like this squishy thing to remove my makeup I should put the cleansing gel like double cleanse it twice and 
it helped remove the makeup last night but now i'm just wearing like small bit of concealer and i don't think i'm gonna put on more makeup today so i'm gonna be looking a bit like a ghost but it's fine i'm digging this outfit this is aloe leggings and i think zara or mango oh mango yeah mango top that i've had for a long time it just never wore but like i like how the color matches and look at me showing off my yoga skills <laughs> And the, these shoes that I got when I was in the US in the outlet, they're like very unusual Jordans. I don't know. I like them. They're very summery and girly and color palette works really well. Anyways, that's enough for the intro and let's go to Place Vendem and I'll show you this beautiful mall. This is the sunscreen I packed. It's from Innisfree. I got it in Korea so long ago. It's probably expired, girl. Don't follow my tips for skincare because probably half my skincare is expired since I get so many items gifted and I want to try everything and then I buy too much and yeah but anyways we're still putting on the sunscreen and hope that it does the job but I do like it because like you can put it on your arms as well like on your hands as you're driving and stuff and it's like you can apply it over your makeup if you're wearing makeup and it's SPF 50 so it looks like a deodorant but it's actually SPF very cool I'm gonna take these Saint Laurent sunnies with me. I had them for like three years and I honestly never wear them. I don't know what's wrong with me. So I'm trying to use things and clothes and stuff uh, after the cluttering that I've not worn that I want to keep. So I took these on this trip. I think the last time I wore them was probably like 2019 or 2018. So these are coming with me and my good old Telfar. It's just the best bag honestly i'm just taking the small bottle of water i don't want to drag my big one but before i leave i just wanted to say that on this trip we're also going to be flying to kuwait for one day and honestly these two weeks i'm going to be living on the plane because on saturday night well sunday morning uh i'm flying to dallas it's going to be a lot of traveling these two weeks and yeah i'm going to be living out of a suitcase but i'm excited all right i don't want to be late so let's go I am staying on the 42nd floor, <laughs> that is so high. Tonight we have to have an early night because we have to be already in our office or meeting point at 7 a.m. So I'm gonna try to get six or seven hours of sleep if I can. So wish me luck. <laughs> well, that is a mall entrance, you guys. Hi Nicola, say hi to YouTube. She's Kali. I mean, talk about luxury of the Middle East. Wow. It's like under a dome. Sephora in a dome. Guys, this mall is crazy. Looks like you're in Europe or something. Wow. So majestic. Nicolette has been talking about this restaurant for a while, so we're gonna check it out. Great view. I managed to drop a piece of chicken on my t-shirt, but the restaurant was really good. If you want to try nice Arabic food in Doha, this is the place. It's called Bait El Tale or something like that. I'll put the name somewhere here. Sunday morning and I'm off to work 
It's 6.50, I'm about to go down and I unfortunately will be leaving the camera today in the room because um, I can't really vlog anything at work. But yeah, just wanted to say last night I went to the gym and just watched some YouTube and passed out. Um, I'm still like a little bit tired, I don't know why, like I don't know this heat and just change of um, environment, all these things I think are adding up so I just needed to rest. I had some coffee this morning, the coffee that I brought and yeah, ready for work, excited, not nervous but like just intrigued to see how it's gonna go, it's a big project for us and yeah, have a lovely Sunday from Doha. Hey guys, good evening. It's almost 6.30 and I had a little afternoon break. Um, we start every morning very early. Uh, we meet at 7 in the lobby, then we go for the meetings with our client. And yeah, today I felt like I needed a little snooze because we are going for dinner soon. But before that, I have a call now in five minutes with one agency that we have to discuss a proposal with. I just got dressed. I'm wearing like a jumpsuit. And I'm gonna just touch up my makeup. It's still holding in pretty well since 7 in the morning. And yeah, I just wanted to update you what's happening. We're going to this restaurant called Gaia. We have one actually in Dubai, but I've never been. So I'm very excited because I know that it's really popular and supposedly really nice food. So I'm gonna try to see if I can do any short clips. I'm not sure because it's kind of like a client and I don't want to be rude, but I'll try my best to maybe at least update you guys afterwards if I can then, um, if I cannot film. And yeah, um, it's Monday, so we still have three more days here and then I'll leave Friday morning. On Wednesday, we're heading to Kuwait, so that's gonna be interesting as well. I've never gone on a day trip to another country, like, as in to actually do stuff in the country, because when I was crew, it was just like, you go and don't leave the aircraft and come back. So it's actually gonna be nice to disembark and then go back to the airport the same day. But yeah, so far so good. Hi guys, it is Tuesday. Oh my gosh, feels like such a long week already. Just wrapped up work. We had such a long day from like 7 a.m. till 5 p.m. and now it's almost 6. I'm just watching this beautiful view here and yeah we're getting ready to go to dinner and i wanted to tell you guys about last night so the food was so phenomenal seriously i understand why people love gaia and i highly recommend if you like seafood and just you know all fresh fish and all that stuff like it's seriously so so tasty tonight we're going to carbone which i'm very excited about because it's a restaurant that is very famous in new york and i actually wanted to go to Carbone in 2019 by myself. I literally walked in hoping like I would just be able to get a table and just have lunch, but it was booked. So I was like, wait a minute, like there's a Carbone in Doha. I didn't even know, like actually I just somehow Googled and it just appeared that there's one here. So I was like, this might be our only chance because in, in New York, it's just always busy and booked. So we're gonna go to Carbone tonight. And I know they have the very famous vodka rigatoni, rigatoni pasta, I think. And I think they obviously wouldn't do it here uh, in a Muslim country with vodka, but anyways, I think we can order a similar dish to try. I'm not feeling very hungry, I just feel very tired and rather go to sleep because tomorrow we're going to Kuwait in the morning, so it's going to be another early start. We have to leave like 6 a.m. from the hotel and we're flying with Qatar Airways, so I'm excited about that because I never flew with Qatar Airways, probably like less than two hours to Kuwait from Qatar, but it's going to be a busy day. And yeah, that's the little update for today. I'm just actually sat on the floor in a little dress <laughs> and just watching this view. Let me show you again. I guess you might be sick of it already, but anyways, it's such a beautiful view that I got. I'm so lucky. Show for after the dinner. We named our food bellies. How is the food? Did you like it? Amazing. Super, super, super delicious. We're ready to pass out because we're waking up super early tomorrow for Kuwait. The music, the decor, everything is just stunning. I wonder if it's the same in New York or if it's smaller. I feel like it's smaller. And we were sitting outside and they have like AC coming out of this um, floor. So cool. So it's like actually not hot at all. Although it's actually like 40 degrees as you see my camera is steaming up but as you're sitting it's actually fine. Mm -hmm. 